<clears throat> hello, 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 everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us be glad in it. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, this is Lashana Janine Hearn. We are doing a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading at 5.30 in the morning. So I hope y'all have been following along, keeping up, because we are now on November 5th of the year in the Bible. We are a year, we're going to do a year in the Bible every morning, 5.30. So this is not Bible study, this is just Bible readings. And the purpose is to inspire you to get into the Word for yourself. To read the Word daily for yourself. And not just read the Word. After this, you go in and you study it. Look up words, you know, and meditate and and, and breathe and allow God to just, you know, teach you what the word is and what it means and, and develop y'all's relationship with him and, uh, and grow and mature, you know? Hey, so I'm going to pray. I'm going to get started. I'm going to pray. Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, we just glorify you and thank you, Lord God Almighty, for another brand new day brand new mercy, brand new grace, and that your love is forever for us, Lord God. We just thank you that you are waking us up, that you're breathing into our lungs once again so that we can get it right, so we can develop the relationship that we need to develop with you, Lord God, so that we can embrace you into our lives and and embrace the truth and embrace the love that you have for us into our lives Lord God and I just glorify you and I pray for every single person that will watch the live that will come on and follow along and all those that will watch the replay Lord God I pray that you pour your spirit on them in this day Lord God fill them with your holy fire Lord Jesus and inspire them, motivate them, and encourage them in this day, Lord God, to pursue a relationship with you, to get into the word, to read, and to pray daily. And I just glorify you and I thank you, Lord God, that you are awesome, amazing, and wonderful. And there's just not enough words to say all that you are in our lives. And we just give you thanks, glory, honor, and praise in this day. And I pray this in the presence of Jehovah and the spirit of Jesus, Yahweh, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, yes. So if you have not been following along and you're just coming on, we are doing a year in the Bible. We started November 1st. 2019 and we will end November 1st 2020 so every day I am coming on at 5 30 in the morning and I'm going according to an actual schedule uh, for the Bible readings um, and I will read from the Word of God and we will get through this Bible in an entire year so today is Genesis chapters 9, starting with verse 18, and we will end with chapter 11, verse 26, okay? So I hope that you're able to open up your Bible. If not, you can just listen. That, that'll be just as great. And so Genesis 9 verse 18 and we're going to read to chapter 11 verse 26 all right so let's get started and the sons of noah that went forth of the ark were shem and ham and japheth and ham is the father of canaan 
These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backwards and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan. A servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Shepheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years. And all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Now we're moving on to chapter 10. So if you're just coming on, we are doing a year in the Bible, and we're reading out of Genesis um, chapter 9, starting with verse 18. And we're going to end with chapter 11, um, verse 26. So we're in chapter 10 now. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomar, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshek, and Tyrus. Forgive me if I'm saying the names wrong. They're very hard to say, so. And the sons of Gomar, Hashkenaz, and Rephath, and Togomar, Togomar. And the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. Yes, very hard names to say. Very hard names. Okay. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, Mizraim and Phut, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba and Havila and Sabta and Rama and Sabtecha <laughs> and the sons of Rama Shaba and Dadan. Okay. <laughs> so and Cush beget Nimrod, he began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel and Erech and Akkad and Kalna in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Ashur and builded Naiva and the city of Rehoboth and Kalah. I'm hoping that I'm saying these words right. And Rasan between Naeva and Kalah, the same is a great city. And Mizoram begot Ludum and Anaimim and Lahabim and Naphtuhim. 
and Patharusim and Casaluhim, out of whom came Philist Philistim and Kaphtorim. <laughs> we're going to get through this. A whole year in the Bible, yes, we're going to get through this. And Canaan begat Sidon, his firstborn, in Heth. And the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hevite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Avrodite, and the Samarite, and the Hamathite. And afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom, and Gomorrah, and Adma, and Zeboim, even unto Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. Ooh, we got to get through some more names, some more, some more names. Let's get this done. Unto Shem, also the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Ashur, and Apharaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz and Hul and Gether and Mesh. And Arephexad beget Salah and Salah beget Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided. And his brother's name was Joktan. I have a fly in here. Oh my goodness. Okay. And Joktan beget Almadad and Sh Shalef and Hazmaravith and Jerah and Hadoram and Uzal and Dikla and Obul and Amibo and Sheba and Ophir, and Havela, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. If I'm messing these names up, forgive me, forgive me. And their dwelling was from Misha, as thou goest unto Safar, a mount of the east. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations, these are the families of the sons of Noah after their generations in their nations. And by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Whew. So we are reading Genesis. We started with uh, chapter 9, verse 18. And we're reading to 11, chapter 11, verse 26. So if you're just coming on, this is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading where I come on every morning at 530 and uh, read the words of God. And this is to inspire you and motivate you and encourage you to want to read the words of God yourself and um, and get into your word daily. So we're moving on to chapter 11 and we're going to go to verse 26. So if you are following along, that is awesome. If you're just listening, that's even awesome as well. So, And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, go to let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime had they for martyr. And they said, go to let us build us a city 
and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. Let's see, where did I go? Okay, so, and they said, go to let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this, turn on my pages. this they began to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and begat Arphaxad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Arphaxad five hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Arphaxad lived five and thirty years and beget Selah. And Arphex had lived after he beget Selah four hundred and three years and beget sons and daughters. And Selah lived thirty years and beget Eber. And Selah lived after he beget Eber four hundred and three years and beget sons and daughters. And Eber lived four hundred and thirty years and beget Peleg. And Eber lived after he begat Peleg 430 years and begat sons and daughters. And Peleg lived 30 years and begat Ru. And Peleg lived after he begat Ru 209 years and begat sons and daughters. And Ru lived 2 and 30 years and begat Saru. And Ru lived after he begat Saru 207 years and begat sons and daughters. And Sarug lived 30 years and beget Nehar, Hor, Nahar. And Sarug lived after he beget Nehar 200 years and beget sons and daughters. And after Nehar lived 9 and 20 years and beget Terah. And Nehar lived after he beget Terah 119 years and beget sons and daughters. And Terah lived 70 years and beget Abram, Nahar, and Haran. Whew. Reading the Old Testament can be hard sometimes because of the, the names and the words. But we're going to get through this. So if you're just coming on, we are doing a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading. Where I come on at 5.30 every morning. And read the words of God to inspire you, to motivate you, to encourage you to get into the word yourself. So I hope you're following along and keeping up. Um, today we did Genesis chapters 9, uh, verse 18, started in verse 18, and we ended with chapters 11, verse 26. So, I pray that your day be blessed, favored, on purpose, and I will see y'all in the morning again at 530. All right. See y'all later. Bye.